Labor Day is right around the corner, so I thought that we would make a healthy and delicious version of blueberry cobbler with a little twist. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel where we get together every week and we create these delicious recipes together. Today, we are going to be making a flourless blueberry walnut bake. Let's begin today by making our topping. To your food processor, add in one cup of walnuts, one half of a cup of spicy pumpkin seeds, five large pitted dates, which add some sweetness and will help hold our topping together, three quarter of a cup of fiber rich unsweetened shredded coconut, two tablespoons of coconut oil, and one half of a teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon, along with one quarter of a teaspoon of pink Himalayan or sea salt. Pulse together and then process until your ingredients reach a crumbly consistency. Depending on how sweet you want your dish to be and how sweet your blueberries are, either add in two tablespoons of liquid sweetener or filtered water. I'm going to add in pure maple syrup. Pulse again until your mixture sticks together when pressed between your fingers. Now in a large mixing bowl, add in 20 ounces or about three cups of either frozen or fresh blueberries. There's no need to thaw your blueberries. Drizzle with one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. And now our next ingredient is optional. Sprinkle on two scoops of our clean sourced collagens powder. You can also substitute this with one tablespoon of arrowroot powder or omit this completely. Gently toss the blueberries to coat. And now let's prepare an eight by eight baking pan or pie dish by greasing the pan first and then adding parchment paper to the bottom. Add your coated blueberries to the pan and then your topping. So you wanna be sure that you don't completely cover the blueberries to allow them to breathe while cooking. Bake in a 350 degree preheated oven for 25 minutes and then place parchment paper over the pan and bake an additional 10 to 15 minutes or until your blueberries are hot and bubbly. Let your bake cool before serving. Our blueberry walnut bake is ready for a taste. It smells so good. So a couple of things, you can top it with some whipped coconut cream, some ice cream, or even yogurt, which is what I did. And also, if you didn't add any of the arrowroot powder or our collagens powder, the filling might be a little bit more juicy, but not a big deal. Okay. This is my favorite part. I get to taste it. Get all that goodness on. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely divine. I love that little bit of spiciness from the spicy pumpkin seeds. It's perfectly sweetened for me and for my taste. Um, what can I say? It's so good. The topping is absolutely delicious, but if you're looking for a lighter dessert, you're certainly welcome to maybe half that amount, so there's just not as much on there, and then maybe add in a little bit more blueberries to even everything out. This one is a must. I hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, take great care of yourself this week, make healthy choices, and I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Take care, bye-bye.